We've got ignition. All right. Get ready. So here we are, it's the official practice day, so I think the intensity has been turned up a few notches. Uh, official timing today, so we'll really see what we have, what everybody else has, and uh, it's all seeming pretty good so far. So, team's all uh, back here getting things all sorted, the 23 cars all put back together from yesterday, and we're ready to rock and roll. Okay. He's a man of many talents. Cares for all this stuff. And so, uh, tell me again what we uh, adjusted there, because it was really bouncing around a lot. Like, if you messed up and got more of a curve than you wanted, it would never settle down. Yeah. So the first thing we did is we had a great place for the pressure. We helped the platform of the car, but then it would start bouncing. So we just put Dr. Jim in, sent him out, but I added three clicks of rebound to kind of let the car compress and kind of hold itself. So the slow was kind of bouncing all the way around. Perfect. The first change was good, so that should lock it in. Yep, yeah, okay. no, we should be. We're in the ballpark right now. Go! Backup plan. Holy's happy now. Actually, it was his uh, best session of the weekend, so super proud of him and uh, working in the right direction. Had a baby. Good. Best session of the weekend. How'd it feel? That felt so much better. Okay. In that broad session, so much better than the first session. Perfect. So change is in the right direction. Yeah. Well done. Drivers meeting in nine minutes. And we have our drivers meeting here in just a few minutes, but uh, yeah. Thanks keep doing some hydrating and my nutritionist approved uh, RX bar to keep properly fueled on these weekends because time gets away from you and then it's too late so just so you know in case you care here's the scene for the driver's meeting all kinds of fun until you produce the deed that says the real estate is yours Nobody owns a corner. It's up to everybody to get through and kind of coexist. I always say there are two kinds of contact. I look around this room and the quality of the drivers in this room and to think that every car is gonna roll back into the trailer without a mark on it at the end of the weekend would be foolish on my part. But there are two types of contact. There's incidental contact and there's instrumental contact. Incidental is two cars running close in the corner, a little touch, touch and off you go and so on and so forth. Instrumental contact is contact that's instrumental in getting the pass done. When you hit somebody and move them in order to make the pass, if the pass is done because of the contact, then that's a problem. Does that make sense? Everybody clear on that? Look at out. Look how classy we're getting. We have an actual travel bar now. I, I mentioned there's C. Katie's in charge of that. We're the only team with our own winery and a travel bar. Lunch and data. Working on getting faster right now. Dr. Drew's deep into the thoughts. It's mental. Watching the video. You gotta be able to see it in your mind to make it happen. That's right. Okay, we're approaching the corner of talking. Is that your uh, Princess Leia look? Well, it said you can't have them in your helmet. I just don't think I can be able to get this thing on. If you get down low, I can like sit on it. Pull! Oh. Nah, 
up, but it's not happening. We're gonna have to play by the rules. All right, Frederic has arrived, just in time for our last official practice. Ready? I'm ready. He's ready for. Are action. you ready? Put me in, coach. <laughs> So our uh, last session before uh, qualifying tomorrow, so uh, making some uh, final tweaks to the car and hopefully we will uh, have found all the speed that's there. That's the plan. Okay, second official test is complete. Uh, I think things moved in the right direction. We'll see how Dr. Jim goes now and uh, we'll be set to qualify tomorrow. What do you think? What? What do you think? I think it looked great. Right. I, I think it looked great. Right. You drove great. Right. Right. Awesome car. It was good. I think you're going to be good. This looks good. Your time shows it. So. Yeah, because I think the track and the weather, temperature, everything slowed things down a little bit. So to be there right now, it's going to Yeah, absolutely. Especially with how warm it's been. You know, it's so warm right now compared to, it's even warmer today than yesterday, I believe. So we yes. are at. I think we're doing good. Absolutely. So I'm going to say that I'm satisfied with the day. Um, we just finished uh, official practice two. Um, led the session for most of it in our class. Ended up getting bumped to P2 by like four tenths of a second at the very end. So uh, made some good headway. I think with the car set up how uh, we like it. I feel like we got a good weapon for qualifying tomorrow. So stay tuned. I sometimes forget all the stuff that's pretty interesting. So this is uh, the data impound. Pretty awesome sea of cool cars, uh, making sure everybody's being honest and playing by the rules. So after each session, we'll pull into this area. They'll look at all the data, analyze it. Like I said, just make sure we're playing by the rules. Some uh, race weekend How shenanigans, we some darts. <laughs> Rookie. Up. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was good. Uh, Pretty reasonable. Well done. Well done. That was good. It's a beautiful, kind of brisk morning here at Coda, but uh, a new day. And follow along, because what I'm going to do is I'll summarize practice day yesterday and uh, qualifying that we're just getting ready for now. So we got uh, two rounds of qualifying this morning. Uh, Dr. Jim has one 15-minute session, and then I have a 15-minute session to qualify the car for race two. So we'll bring you along for that. We'll post it up on my vlog channel on YouTube. And... Uh, then the rest of the footage, race summary, all that, Alec will be getting to it and we'll have the race one or race two summary for you I think next week. So time to go send it for qualifying. Looking pretty orderly around here. Bunch of pros ready for the game. Look at her, look at the 17, all pretty and ready to go qualifying. They've all done their job, so now it's mine. All they're asking for is one perfect lap, 15 minutes to get it done. Hopefully more like in the first five, so we can have some fresh tires for the race, but no sweat. Can't forget to do some promoting. This BRM partnership is all about selling watches. Really cool ones. Look at this, all the ladies are hard at work. Well, Alicia was on her phone. Brooke's probably doing some promoting as we speak. Dr. Jim, ready for qualifying. John's got them all lined up. 
Brooke and I are capturing each other, capturing the action, which is sweet. Well, more proof this morning that uh, racing is completely unscripted and you cannot be prepared for everything. Uh, rain wasn't in the forecast, but it's raining right now. Uh, three minutes before qualifying. Uh, so trying to determine if we send Dr. Jim out on the dry tires and what looks like it could quickly become mixed conditions. And, uh, and then I'll get to go do whatever when it's my turn. We'll see. Ready for action. Got some wets here just in case it gets to be more. The weather predictors up here. So we've got one car in, some light contact, uh, the 23. Uh, Jim's got a lap in, but I'm hearing a red flag. So that's probably going to end this qualifying session. Oi. I just never had everything I needed at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's like I'd be on a great lap and then there's a car parked in turn one, so I'd have to like... Pop a tent yeah, even that, that last, the 17.7 was with the car parked in turn one and then having to pass somebody that was doing a cool down lap right like in the top of eight where you couldn't stay flat. So the car's really good. I think there's a low 17 in it, a high 16 for sure. If we could have had some open the car's awesome. We got a great car to race with. I just never had everything uh, give me what I needed in qualifying. I'd be on a fast lap and I'd come up on some traffic and have to get by them, or there'd be a, a yellow in one corner, so I'd have to have to lift. And that was actually my best lap. So I know there was another half a second in that lap at least. But uh, we'll start P3 in class and hope we can keep it. I am now embarking on my race car drivers pre-race lunch of champions consists of some sourdough toast oh not the almond butter because it makes you sleepy we're gonna go with some jiff this time one of these bananas and some honey that's my pre-race ritual when the race is near mealtime in case you cared or wanted to know Hold on, John. What'd you say? Is there a little difference in meal time here? A little difference between driver and crew seat meal times. I'm going with the uh, Jack Link's beef jerky stick, Lay's barbecue chips, Dr. Pepper. Whatever keeps you going. Keeps you going. And voila. There it is. The sourdough, peanut butter, banana, and honey sandwich. Okay, okay. show us your uh, pre-race ritual. Dr. Jim doing some hand-eye and mind exercises. Yeah, you can touch your right side, but you gotta go. Taking your right arm in and your left leg to so activate both sides of the brain. Yeah. That was something I got from Ross Bentley in one of his classes. I always try to take the doctor's advice. Definitely based on brain physiology, how it works. He's getting ready for a nice, clean start to race one. A perfect first stint, a perfect entry into pit lane, and a perfect exit, getting me into the car to finish race one. That's the plan. <laughs> 